Hey Gladys, how are you? Hello teacher, I'm great. And you? I'm doing great. Uh, did you do a lot of bracelets today? Yes, yes, <laughs> like always. <laughs> how many do you do in a day? Um, mm, it depends, for example, oh, let me see, today like, uh, like only 50 because was one of the most complicated. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, but Gladys, can I ask you if uh, do you get paid for per bracelet, or do you get paid for like a, like twenty or ten, or like a like a package? Yes, for for hundreds. For hundreds. Yes, yes, for hundreds exactly. Wow, that sounds like a lot of work. Yes, yes, too much at the beginning. Uh, when I started, it was so difficult uh, to get used to because I had never even heard about it. I didn't know anything about it. And, but now I can say that I'm, <laughs> uh, I'm, I already get, uh, got used to. Okay. All right. Well, that's, that's good. That's good because I know maybe some... Uh, I'll talk to you later about it because I know some people that maybe they would be interested. Um, they they live in the rural areas, and that would be something that they would be that they would like to do, or be you know something that they are able to do. Yes, yes. Uh, a lot of of the employees are from the from outside of, of San Salvador. Uh -huh, I imagine because this is this is it, is because it's a perfect job for them. You don't have to be in the city. You can stay in the country, but you still work. And you feel like you are making money, but you know, is 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 your money, is your work. Mm -hmm. Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, uh, okay. Thanks. We'll talk later then, Gladys. How's everybody else doing? <laughs> everybody else have a good day today? It's quiet. Quiet day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's good. Sometimes it's nice to have a, a quiet day. Mm -hmm. And anybody else? Claudia, Eric, how was Eric? How are you doing? How are you feeling with the with your quarantine? Uh, feeling nice, doing well. As a matter of fact, it's just like an extra vacation because I've been in, in my house doing nothing, just watching TV isolated in my room and spending some time reading some books or some kind of things. Okay, all right. What kind of books do you like to read? Science fiction. Oh, okay. Science fiction, like, are, are you, which one are you reading right now? The one that I read was is a they I guess they call trilog trilogy. Trilogy. The yeah, but I, I don't know what is the name of it in English. But it's the first one is El Problema de los Tres Cuerpos. Ah, okay, okay. It, it it is an amazing book. It's fantastic because I love the science fiction. And uh, what's it about? It is something about like uh, humanity, mankind. The, what it, what what do we have to do in order to survive? Because maybe this planet uh, probably could not exist anymore in the future. And there's a sign of that that has been sent to the space from China uh, around 1970, and then the signal came back to. Uh, to the earth and some people got the signals and then the start then what is this uh, there's started the the the, the tail okay. and we go to the space we have to fight with some things there's a lot of things that people have to face uh, but it's amazing okay that's exactly 
good evening, Maria. And that's exactly what we're going to do with our partners. You see, it's not a matter of, you know, being specific and asking and waiting for a question and an answer. What we want to do is we're going to go in our groups with our partners and we just want to catch up. We want to use natural. Now, if you notice, I use a different grammar tense with Gladys than I use with Eric. Now, you don't have to worry about it, but it's just so that you know the difference. With Gladys, when I asked her questions, I asked her present tense because they are talking about routines. What do you do? How, uh, it, because Gladys is talking about the bracelets. How many do you make? Uh, where do you sell this? Because these are routines for her job. This is a description of her position and what she does in her office, well, in, in her job. But when I talked to Eric, if you notice, I didn't ask Eric about routines. I asked him specific information about past events. What book, okay? And Eric had to tell me, how was your quarantine? So here are different events because he's talking about, oh, uh, in this case, the continuous. I am reading for this or I read this. So you don't have to worry, but just notice that you are not going to make the same question or, your, or the answers are not going to be the same. If they're talking about routines, they're talking about uh, what you are doing uh, in the moment or what you did in the past, okay? So, because I know sometimes I hear some of you and your questions, I understand the idea, but you use the same tense. So remember, uh, am, is, are for the continuous, do and does for the routines and did for the past tense, okay? So one more time, for example, what do you do? Do, uh, what does your, you know, your partner or your wife or whatever, if you want to use third person, uh, what do you do at work? Uh, how, how was your day is specific, right? How, here's when we start using am, is, are. Uh, what are you reading? Like when I asked Eric, what are you reading? What are you doing? Uh, that is for the continuous. And then if I ask, uh, for example, yesterday, what did you do after class? Or uh, what did you do during the week? Okay, so we want to have a small conversation, not big, it's not going to take a long time, but we want to try to feel comfortable asking routines about the job, about what they are doing, and about what they did, just so that we practice using all three tenses. Okay, so we're practicing the the present tense, what do and does, we're practicing the continuous tense, am, um, is, are, or was, or were, and then we're practicing the past tense. Okay? Okay, let's make the groups. Like I said, it's, you don't have to worry about the grammar tense and the names. The important is feeling comfortable asking and answering the questions, but feel comfortable asking. Remember, the questions are not the same as a sentence. So in Spanish and in English, they're different. You, it's not correct to say, uh, you work today or uh, you ate lunch. No, this is like Spanish. You need to put, did you work today? Do you? You, you need to, you have to use those auxiliaries. That's the, that's the important. So if the partner, if you hear your partner and they don't use the auxiliaries, Hey, remind them, hey, 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 what is the auxiliary? What is the WH? What is the different things? That's why we're partners, to help each other. Okay. Are we ready? Yes. All right. No, but. <laughs> no, but, no, but you have to speak. Okay. <laughs> All right. I like, no, but I, I don't have a choice, teacher. You're, you're the boss. Okay. <laughs> You need. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. Let's take a look then. Let's let's see if we have them. about it, about a lot of things. Really? <laughs> yeah. And the, the, 
the brother Juan Antonio told me that he saw you today because you had um, the, the meeting. Yeah, it's we have a, 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 I don't know how do you say provincial meeting. Uh -huh. <laughs> I don't know, like Central America <laughs> uh <-huh>. meeting. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> how do you say that, teacher? Central when, America. Mm -hmm. Central America meeting. Yes, um, it depends what kind of meeting because sometimes they say bilateral meeting or they say, uh, you know, international or multinational or regional. Depends. I, I don't know specifically uh, which because regional is usually like the, the Northern Triangle. Okay. International is usually if you have a little bit more or other people that are involved in things like this. It could be like regional, maybe. Regional, yeah. Maybe, yes. Yeah, yeah. That mm -hmm. sounds great, that word. <laughs> so we have that, and, and we talk about a lot of issues uh, about work. Wow. And we have a work, <laughs> a lot of work to do. We have work. And I like, for example, to study with my daughter. Uh, every day I like review uh, the tax with them. All right. What about uh -huh. you? Well, what in about my case, uh, uh, like in my case, what I've been doing uh, lately is just being in my house watching some movies or also read, uh, I like to read a little bit, some books, books of science fiction. I enjoy, I enjoy to go to the mountains. I don't like not much the beach. I don't know why, but even, even, even that I know that it's beautiful, but I prefer to go to the mountains, hills, high terrain. I love the fresh air. And I like to do that with my family as well. Because it's nice to be spending some time with them, and uh, in I've been watching some uh, movies and series or series here on uh, Netflix, and I, I think it's good for that because it helps us to improve our English, and it's a good way. So I think that you can do is you can watch a movie. First time you can watch it in English with subtitles in Spanish, then you can watch it again and with subtitles in English. Then in the third time you can watch it without any subtitles, and it help you, help you a lot. That in my case. What, what about, about you, you Ernesto? Can you tell us something? Um, in my case, right now, I'm at my work. Uh, I'll be here at the, until one, until 10 p.m. And then I will, I will go home and take a little rest. Tomorrow I will this platform, this uh, using Zoom, and I was in and uh, in and out, in and out because of the internet. Yeah, but I think she, I think she's in. Oh no, is the teacher? Hello, teacher. Hi, Karen. Who who are you talking about, Karen? Gladys. Uh, with Gladys. I oh. I thought it was Gladys. Hmm. We lost her a, a, a few minutes ago. Okay, maybe she's having some problems. You're right. Yeah, I, 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 I was, I was telling Maria that I have, I, I've had a lot of problems with internet all the day. Mm. And I don't know if it was Tigo or or both companies, Tigo and Claro. And do you have problems with internet on the phone or in the house? In the house. Okay. Mm. Yeah. Dennis, Dennis definitely has to do with, with whoever you have in the house because if you in the house is normally where you have the best signal for the Wi-Fi. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. But I don't know. I don't know. Maybe because of the raining. I don't ah, know. yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That sometimes mm -hmm. makes a mess. Do you know? Well, the, the thing with Gladys is, is like a soap opera. 
because I have been hearing about her job and the bracelets and things. And I heard one little piece one day, another little the next day. And today I got <laughs> her. I was asking her the details and things. And then suddenly she got freezed. She uh, was frozen and, and I lost her. in no way. Uh, <laughs> yes. I wanted to know. Yes, because I have um, my, the same thing that you mentioned, Maria. I have a sister-in-law who lives in the rural community. And you know, in the rural community is, is not a lot of job opportunities. But mm -hmm. Gladys says that in her case, they have the opportunity to work from home. Maybe, mm -hmm. not, maybe not make a lot of money, but have specifically for women to do handcrafts. And mm -hmm. I think this, and this is great because they can work from home and maybe once a week or whatever, they only need to come in and, and give the product. And that's it. And, and she says that, that they teach them online. So how to do it. They have the videos and education. So it's perfect because she can download the videos, go to the internet cafe one time, download all the videos, and from home, watch the videos and only produce and produce and produce. And you know that maybe it's not a lot, but in the rural community, if you make $10 a day or $20 a day, it's a lot of money for them because it's, it's almost the minimum salary. In, mm -hmm. in the rural community, you don't pay rent, you don't pay for house, you don't pay a lot of the things that in the city you pay, so. Mm -hmm. See, they can Teacher, make money I don't, money. I don't understand you in the what community? Ah, in the rural communities. R rural. Yes, rural. Uh -huh. It's in the chat. It's in the chat. Eh, Karen, uh, ah, okay. Uh -huh. Rural communities are usually communities um, that we consider uh, poor outside of the city. They don't have the services, for example, like garbage. Sometimes they don't have services like water or electricity. Um, it, these are usually like the rural communities. Usually the houses are very separated because they have a farm or they have a, a, a many trees or a forest or something like this. These are, okay. the, these are the rural communities. Yeah, I, I understand, but okay. I don't understand the rural, rural you, what? Ah, but okay. I, but, but I know what is rural. <laughs> okay, okay, good. Thank you, Karen. Well, I'll let you guys practice and let me check on the other groups. Okay, hey, thank you. Let me see, you don't have, oh, I, I confused. I thought I put Gladys with you, but no. Gladys is ah. Gladys joined another group. She's with Marcela and Roxana. Ah, could you please could you please ask her? Because yeah, I have, going to, I, 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 in this moment in this moment I, I in this moment I check and I say what happened with Gladys? But no, she joined the group with with Marcela and Roxana. Okay. Ah, okay. Please, please tell Roxana that ask her and let me know later. <laughs> yes, yes, I will. I will. Mm -hmm. Okay. A difficult time for me because, like, uh, I already told I was to the that it has been the reopen of quarantine. Uh, we have like two, but like two too so much work to do and uh, it's uh, I, I don't know what to do because there's so much work to do every week because uh, the quarantine it's already over and we're working more so yes sorry uh, bef sorry before um, you continue um, Gladys uh, Karen and Maria Isabella would like to speak to you when the class is finished. They would like um, to know how to have a job opportunity or for someone that they know and how to, if there are any opportunities to, to do this uh, from home as well. Oh yes, they can, they can uh, text me. Yes, I, 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 so yes, because you were in their group and they say, oh, wait, I, I was going to ask Gladys and I said, okay, I said, don't worry. I, when I see Gladys, I'm going to remind you. So that way you know that uh, Karen Garcia and Maria Isabella, they, they would like to know um, what to do. So they, I, I'll tell them that to, to text you, okay? We didn't hear you there, but. 
I think she said okay, okay. exactly. I, I imagine, yeah. yeah, but uh huh. Uh huh. Okay. Go ahead. Which is going to around the Ilopango Lake. Uh huh. It's beautiful. You have gone there. Do you really know that place also? Yes. I have got, I have not that place. I have gone to that place. Okay. I, uh, I have gone to that place. Ah, okay. Okay, that is good. This so Ernesto is, is uh, like a, what is, what is the name of the, those cartoons? Uh, well, Runner, because he has gone to almost everywhere. <laughs> ah, <laughs> yeah. Hey Ernesto, any questions? Um, ¿Cómo se dice variedad? Es que es variety. No. Almost a, a variety, variety. Ah. Variety. Mm -hmm. Y colección. Collection. Collection. Ah, sí, va. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Uy, cuando uno está hablando se olvida todo el mundo. <laughs> yeah, it's true. It's true. In the moment, later, or then you remember, ay, this is the word, <laughs> this is the thing. But in the moment, you forget. <laughs> <laughs> And I remember uh, once I was at an interview at Con, well, and it was called uh, Convergis, and now it's called Concentrics. Mm -hmm. And I was at the interview and I forgot everything. I don't know why, it was maybe nervous. <laughs> <laughs> but then the, 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 the girl that the interviewer was a girl. Mm -hmm. She said, don't worry, keep calm. And she brought me a glass of water and we talked in Spanish a little bit in order to get a little bit more relaxed. And then we start again the, the interview. Mm -hmm. And I, I passed. Okay. Well, does anybody else have any questions or comments about how to say anything that you wanted to say or anything like this? I have a little problem, but because I am paying attention, I understand, I do the exercise, and when I try to talk, I forget. <laughs> this is exactly what this is exactly what he says is for some reason in the moment you get nervous you forget the vocabulary you forget the lessons and then you but then when you do the exercise i i know this i i know this vocabulary and the, the things mm -hmm. yeah it does it does and it's natural it's a natural part of the learning because you have to get used to it uh, mentally and you have to get accustomed to it. Um, I think I heard Eric mention earlier one thing that's very good um, and that's the, as far as improving your English through the everyday activities. For example, watching TV um, in English, but try. Uh, but uh, at this level, you want to eliminate the Spanish subtitles. So you can watch TV in English, but you need to start doing it with English subtitles, no more Spanish because you you are already at you are pretty advanced right so we need to make sure that it is the 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 spanish helps you at the beginning but now the majority of vocabulary that you read and the majority of the vocabulary that you are able to hear you understand of course there's always maybe the pronunciation of the word or maybe a, a new word but in general you understand the main ideas for most things so this is one of the things that you need to stay focused on, is not only uh, maintaining, but improving the, your, your everyday communications, okay? And the same for Netflix, for other things. Um, I, each person has a different personality and different things, but you can use audiobooks, you can use reading online. You, it doesn't have to be a complete book. If you don't like book, it can be a short article. It can just be 
For example, if you want to read something about El Salvador, if you read the news, read it in English. Just, just the idea is the habit, the everyday, the habit that you, that you feel the necessity. And this is one of the reasons that many people, when they go to the U.S., they don't speak English, they don't have the same level of education, but in six months they can survive and they can work and they can talk because it's the necessity. But if you always go back to Spanish because you say, no, 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 it's okay. I don't need, I, I, I can say in Spanish. No, 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 I, 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 I'm in class and the, they understand me in Spanish. Then this makes it more difficult to advance because this is what stops you from having that necessity that you you can't speak Spanish. You you have to speak English. So mm -hmm. it's little things. And don't worry. It takes time and it's slowly. And you know, how long have you been studying English? You know that it's, it's not something fast. It's not like a, 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 what is Academia Europea. In three months, you are speaking basically another language. <laughs> you know it's not yeah. true. You, you know. Nobody is going to lie to you. You know only how the grammar is not for three months. Exactly. <laughs> only that. Only that. So you know is is you know that what it takes. But the idea is now the best way is start eliminating the Spanish. Do not have the dependency of the Spanish. Not in subtitles, not in translations, not in uh, different things. Now when you look for the word in English in Google, don't look for Google Translator. Look for Google thesaurus or look for Google synonyms, antonyms, because now you understand English. You can use another English word to understand the new word. It's not necessary. Associate with Spanish. Associate with English in another way. I have, I don't know exactly where, but I have a dictionary which is English and English. It's not on, on Spanish. I, I need to look for it and find it. Yeah, I know it's here. Yeah, and, and every, like I say, everybody's different. Maybe Daniel uses his cell phone. Maybe Marcela uses the books. Maybe Roxana uses the computer. Maybe Ernesto uses the voice text, okay? And maybe Claudia uses the camera in the cell phone for Google Translator. They have the, because they use the camera and they automatically, they put from one language to the other using the camera for, for the vocabulary, okay? So there are many different options, but what you want to do is start making sure and focusing more and more in that language. All right, before we continue, uh, I want to check how is everyone doing with the platform? Are you finished with unit four? Do you need some help? Do you need assistance? Um, maybe you are in unit one, two, three, I don't know. Maybe you have a problem in one of those sections. Is everything okay? Is everybody advancing? I was having problems last night because I was trying to finish the 5.2 knowledge check. And I, and I began and said, okay, this is this way, this way. But I couldn't finish yesterday until today. And let me tell you that I finished guessing by guessing. Because it's one of those exercises where, where you are sometimes I'm a little confused because you know that must and could are could, could be used almost the same for the because they give you the verb in parentheses and and say that you may need to use it with model mm -hmm. but uh, we have seen that we have learned that with you that must and could but for some reason sometimes here is must and sometimes it's good and sometimes is is should and another one is is different so I was trying, for the first, I was uh, spelling bad uh, the past participle of permit. I had the idea that was with double T, and I don't know why, then I said, no, it's only one. And I was working only with one, and no, there are two. So when I realized that, I still was having a uh, wrong, uh, some exercises because the should, the could, the must, must not, and some. So I began to, to do as, play in the lottery and then I get it. But it's not the right way to do it. You're, you're right. You're right, Maria. It's, it's not the right way to do it. The, but the most important is that you learn why it's wrong. You learn which one is wrong. So yes, you can guess, but the most important is that the next time you don't need to guess. Mm -hmm. 
That's the important thing. So do you still have confusion between must and should? Or uh, do you feel more confident between those? No, but see, yes, I feel, uh, uh -huh, I feel fine. But for example, here, okay. uh, it says, um, let me, one of, the, one of the ones I was having real problems. It says, the sale of four products and has a, a space and then says permit. So I, I, I said, okay, should not be permitted. But it says it was wrong. They say, okay, could not be permitted. And since it's wrong. So I, I type at the end, must not be permitted. And then it's okay. But must and could, why it doesn't take as synonymous. If we saw that was the same. Okay. No, it's not. Must and could are, are different meanings. Must is the obligation and could is the possibility. Mm -hmm. So, for example, uh, you see Marcella's hair? I use Marcella because her hair is the easiest to, to identify. No, I don't see her. <laughs> Do you see her? No. No, no. no. Take a look. Because, uh, look in the... I am in the cell phone. Maybe that's why. But no, no, but in the cell phone, you can pick the name. If you, put, if you look in the name for the, the people and you only click on Marcella and you can see Marcella's hair. But no, no, Marcela, relax. It's, it's beautiful, beautiful hair, beautiful hair. I don't see it. <laughs> okay, all right, what, all right. But you can imagine Marcela's hair is long. Okay. See, sí. see. Sí, yeah, okay. As I remember. <laughs> all right. Perfect. Now, is different. Marcela must cut her hair than Marcela could cut her hair. Marcella must cut her hair is an obligation maybe for the job or the position or for the pandemic. This is something that is necessary to do and she, mm -hmm. and she doesn't have an option. She has to do this. But Marcella could cut her hair is this is one possibility of many. The same she could tie her hair or she could put her hair in a, in, in a bun or in a ponytail. These, mm -hmm. are, these are options, but mm -hmm. must is not an option. Must is that Marcela has no choice, and this is what's going to happen. Mm -hmm. See, I was confused then because we were talking about recommendations or opinions. We, we use should. Cor and, exactly, and, recommendations. Mm -hmm. Exactly. That's the one that's for recommendations. Should the should. or shouldn't. Mm -hmm. And then I know in some part, okay, maybe I didn't write. <laughs> <laughs> no problem, no problem. Okay. Oh, no, I have this. It says uh, for advice. It says, uh, we could use could or would for advice. And, and I was confused in that part. That's ah, why okay. I, I, I thought, I said, okay, but it's the same. We saw that. Okay, okay. But, but it's for an advice. It's for the advice, exactly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And remember, could is, uh, usually is used with you. You could is like, I give you, I, I, I open your mind for a possibility. You could pay, you could go, you could see, right? But would is normally, I tell you what I do in your situation. Okay, I would I would go, or I would, uh, I would try, or I would practice. Okay. So would would is always used with I. No, not always, but it is used in this context for normally what my opinion is. Okay, it's usually I would. Okay, sometimes you, for example, maybe you know your husband, or maybe you know your son or your daughter, and you speak for them. For example, he would want the yellow one or he would want the red one because you know they don't like the other color. Okay. That is, that is what you're, you're saying about the person. I would, for example, for me, I would like, uh, I don't know, I would like uh, uh, a, a blue wall. Okay. But this is me. But I know you. And because I know you don't like blue, I give you the word with could. You could paint the wall blue. You could change the decoration to feel bigger. 
this is an option that I give you. But if I say you must, is you don't have options and I don't have opinion. This is the regulation or this is the law or this is something that is part of the, part of the uh, organization and it's an obligation. Okay. Okay. Now I know. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. And the best way, Maria, is to think about it with what we were talking earlier about Gladys. Okay. And, and, and we said, and we use Gladys because I have speaking, I spoken to Gladys the last couple of days about it. And Gladys says that she receives payment for her work for hundreds. So Gladys must finish 100 bracelets to get paid. Is not correct. Gladys could finish or Gladys should finish? No, because it's not recommendation. It's not an option. It's a necessity. It's she has to do. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Any, anybody else have confusion? Remember, uh, we, today is Thursday. We're going to finish up you next week with Unit 5, but I don't want you to go the weekend and say, I know I didn't do unit three. I still have a, a, a 60 or I have in lesson four. I, I, I couldn't, I didn't find the answer for this. So I want to make sure that it's clear for everyone. Are there any questions? Yeah, teacher. Uh, we have to finish unit four for this week. Section four for this one or section five? For okay, for uh, for today, you should already, in theory, you should already be complete with section four. Okay. You should be complete with section four because already we are in section five, because next week you have section five, and I want to clarify, in the platform it has a date for finishing. I don't know if you see. Sometimes it says like you have to. I don't know, I think it's like the 26 or something. But this is not the reality. This is for administrative purposes because the administration has this date to finish the reporting, to finish the grading, to finish uh, submitting the paperwork to INSAFORP to finish. But you, as a student, only have to next week. Next week is the last day to finish all of the platform. Because I know some. But we finish at the end of the end of October, right? No, we finish next week. We finish in four classes, my Roxana. We, we finish the six fifteen. Yes, October yes, we finish in four classes. That's why. That's why I. I, I oh. That's why today I pause and and make sure because. That's why you see Jonathan writing and saying, hey, some people, because only four classes and you need to finish everything. Okay. <laughs> now, I, I now is more logical. Thought, why? <laughs> I thought that we finish until October 3rd. Sorry? No, 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 yeah. no. Because we didn't begin in the beginning of this month. We began last month. Okay. Mm -hmm. And the course is only four weeks. Okay. Mm -hmm. I had a question. Um, yeah, Marcela. Today I got an email. Today I got an email about um, the. It, it was an email with the link and the data for the next week session, mm -hmm. but. It's like it's the same course, so I, I'm. I don't know. If it's it's different, or because we are, we are not done with this course, right? No, we are not done with this course. But let me make sure I understand. Do you receive the link for registration? Correct for the for for a new. I received like the same. Uh, email that I got when this course uh, started. Yes, I, I believe that is correct. I, 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 I remember because in the last course, you receive an email similar to when you begin this course and it's, uh -huh. for, and it's to maintain a, for in the office so they know what course you are in and then they put mm. the new course, what course you are supposed to go into the next one. But because it wasn't about the next one, it was about this one. 
Mm, okay. What, and Marcela, what, what, what was it about this one? Did it ask you, uh, f was it a survey? Uh, how was the course? Let me, or, let me read to you. Um, it's, it, it had um, the same, uh, the same, uh, it's the same name about the, the did anybody else receive this email or does anybody yes. know? Yes, yes, it's a yes. Uh, it's like case, case I received it also. That, yes, and it says that we start uh, the course in October 12th. So I, I wasn't sure about October that. October 12th, hang on. Uh -huh. Yeah, I, I guess I got, a, I got the same email. I got the same uh -huh. email, but I think it's something later like you said before. Maybe they have to be sure that uh, just we have the next week to finish the, the plan for. Because I asked myself, why did they send this mess, this kind of email yeah. to us? Because we are about to finish. And it has like so, how to, to activate yeah. uh, the platform and all that. So I, I was like, mm, what is happening? Um, oh, probably it was a, a click. Uh, it was a, a mistake. Uh -huh. a yeah. click, <laughs> like we said in the Spanish. Yes. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking here. Um, okay, okay. Yeah, I have. I here. I have an. I have an, an email from one of the coordinators. It says, "Okay, um, okay, fecha de finalización um, en la plataforma dice el 30 de octubre, pero así como uh, el les hemos explicado la esa fecha es por razones administrativas la fecha para los alumnos es el viernes 16 de octubre because it, it says that in the platform if for some, they, if you look for it in the in the platform, it says October 30th, but this is only for administrative purposes. The, the date to complete the platform for students is Friday the 16th. I, I get another difference. Mm -hmm. I, I think that this is the one Marcela was talking about. Yeah. It says that por este medio enviamos el enlace para la videoconferencia de su grupo, el cual inicia el lunes 12 de octubre de 2020. Confirmar de recibir este mensaje. There is the link, the meeting and the password. Y, and then it says the schedule. Eh, lunes a jueves de 8 a 9, nivel inglés preavanzado módulo 3. So, it's the same. Maybe they uh, sent us the running maybe they to say, us. Yes, I was going to say, maybe they, they maybe there's another group that's Pre avanzado tres, and they started in a different date, and then they just sent to all of the people in the in the system that says pre avanzado because there are two dates. You are in one date that begins, but there is another group two weeks later that begins. Mm. Mm -hmm. Well, three weeks later, right? Because you the you began three weeks ago, and you finish next week, but the other group begins on Monday. Mm -hmm. that's why. Yeah, that's why it's and it, it they and got confused. they got confused. Yes, they must have gotten confused. And this has to do with uh, depending on the group and the documents because if they are waiting for three or four people, they wait one week because the idea is to have all of the group. So they try to wait as much as possible. So that's why they say that it, it the dates change. And because if one group have all the documents ready, they begin quickly. But if one group is waiting one week for human resource for the signature or waiting for this document or something, maybe the next course begins two, three, or sometimes four weeks later. So I think in this... In this case, this is probably why you received that email is because they they saw that you are in pre-advance because you haven't finished and they say, okay, send this email to all pre-advance that, that they begin next week. But it's not all because you already began your course. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, I was wondering why, what was that? Okay, okay. 
but I'll, I'll check with I'll check tomorrow just to be sure. But I believe that that's the most logical is is for the other group that begins on that date. Okay. Okay. Anybody else? Any questions for the platform or exercises or anything? Maybe Monday, teacher. Maybe Monday. Huh? Monday is finished, the platform. Hi, Karen. <laughs> <laughs> because right now I don't have any clue. Okay, perfect. Teacher, and, yes. And uh, we have a, a final exam, right? Uh, yes, yes, you have, do. We have to, to, to do the final exam before uh, the other week. Or, or, or we are going to do it in class, or what, what, what is going to, to be there? Okay, no problem. The idea is that the final exam, uh, we, uh, here, I'll show you better. You can understand better if I share my screen. Give me a second. Okay. All right. Can you see my screen? Yeah. All right, perfect. Today, we finish here. This is what we, what, sorry, we, we finished this one, okay? Which was giving recommendations and opinions, okay? This was the, the topic about a must, should, could, all of those that we had. Um, today, we were going to uh, begin taking, here is the knowledge check that you need to use with the, the verbs in parentheses that um, Maria Isabella was talking about, for example, the word permit that she didn't remember was double T or things like that, okay? On Monday, we're going to take a look at tag questions. Well, maybe even today if we have enough time, but I don't think so. But the idea is take, we're going to do tag questions and opinions, and we're gonna be able to complete these exercises, okay? At least we're going to be able to complete these three, sometimes maybe four, but if not, because this is the same topic, tag questions. So it's just a lot of practice of tag questions. So Monday, this is the idea. Tuesday is here, the other, the other four, right? So Monday, the idea is we finish one, two, three, four, which is two videos and it's just the objective. So just two videos. Then Tuesday, the idea is four. So that on Wednesday, we can review and on Wednesday, then you are, we are finished with lesson five and only is necessary for you to complete the, the exercises that are left, all of these, which is the 5.7 through 5.10, the four, which is really just about uh, reading the exercise that we did before, reading, remember, like um, the plagiarism or other information, okay? Now for that, so that on Wednesday, Wednesday night, um, you should be able to take a look. We should be able to take a look at the sections. We will not do them in the class, but we will go through the instructions and the explanation to make sure that you understand what you have to do for each section. The idea is that you do them on Wednesday, and if you have any questions on, in Thursday's class, I can still answer your questions. This is why the idea is um, is almost always to be one, at least with the same in the platform as the class or try to be a little bit more because if you have a question the last day, I, I am still here. But imagine that on Thursday you want to do the exam or you, you wait and Thursday, the last day, you say, no, I have to Friday. I'm going to do the exam on Thursday and you have a problem you have a question, you, you don't understand something, nobody can help you because we are, we are finished already. It's only you. So this is the idea. That's why I say that, um, like we were talking with Roxana, that today you should be finished with lesson four, at, at the minimum lesson four today, because next week you want to finish unit five by Wednesday. So if you have any questions or, or you need to do the exam on Thursday, we can still, I can still help you. Okay, so that's why one more time. For, for this, you should be in four minimum, but in reality, we are already in 5.3. 
Hey, and maybe you say, nah, it's, a, it's not a big difference. But, but if you accumulate and accumulate the last day when you have the four exams, the four sections, you have to finish the, the lesson, you have the other, you, you feel a lot of pressure. I, I was about to say yes. that I would, tr I would try to make the final exam on the weekend. So if we have any questions or something, we still have four classes for make it for make it better correct and this is that this is the, my recommendation look it's not difficult you can try to do the exam on the weekend because the the platform permits you to do two times or three times if you have mistakes so if you do on the weekend and you have mistakes we still have the class monday tuesday to help you but if you don't do and you say no i wait i wait i wait in the last moment if maybe you have a technical problem, maybe you, you lose the internet, maybe your, your computer breaks down, maybe you drop your cell phone. <gasps> Believe me, I have seen many situations that in the last day, something happens. And, and then you don't graduate, and then you don't pass, and then <gasps> you can't continue. So my, my personal recommendation is try. If you don't pass, it's okay but you you have an idea what is your question you have an idea what you don't understand and i can help you but if you don't know what i what is the question i can i i can't give you the answer i don't know mm -hmm. remember i think it, i think it was like for example like claudia do you remember um, I think I think it was Claudia that had uh, she put the answer and put the answer in is one letter that she couldn't find in the in the sentence, and with the group with all the group we look at the sentence and I the end. Mm -hmm. But if you don't do, then you say, but teacher, I know I know it's correct. I know it's correct. Yes, maybe it's correct, but you. With your eyes, sometimes you don't identify the same mistake because you, your brain reads normal. Your brain reads correct because this is what you think. But the reality is maybe you have two spaces or maybe you forgot the period or maybe you put the capital letter incorrectly. But in your brain, the answer is correct. Mm -hmm. Okay, but, very well. So try it. have try. the idea that yeah 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 the, the, for me the most important is you try it and what happens if you have a mistake okay then you're correct so no problem that's most you will have time mm -hmm. yeah that's part of learning if if you have perfect always then you you should be in a more advanced level the idea for learning is you have mistakes that's why you are learning Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Anybody else? Any? For example, in this exercise, mm -hmm. in the exercise as Isabel was talking about, the exercise five point two. Okay. I did all. I made all the. Well, I answered all the questions, and all of them were incorrect. <laughs> then, <laughs> then I thought because I missed the, I missed the last class yesterday. I will miss something, some tip or something like that, but. When I started here to Isabel, uh, I heard that we have to use the the models. Uh, also, uh -huh. yeah. And so I've been doing all these uh, tasks right now. That I just have a uh, just two of them that we have that are missing for me. Okay, and in the reality, many many times the the mistakes you can correct with the partners. Because the other partners try, for example, they, oh, in this one, you need to put a period. In this one, don't put the period. In this one, put the capital letter in. And many times it's because the other partners already tried. And the mistakes are sometimes technical. Okay. I don't know if anybody else has any other questions or, or comment. Nobody. Really? Nobody. Excellent. That means that on on Monday, everybody do everybody in this class today finished the exam, uh, finished platform lesson four. We are doing excellent. And if you, we are already in vacation, we are already I, I would like we already to, have I would the like diploma. To, 
<laughs> already printed. I would like to suggest that Eric could share with us which ones are the ones he, he is having troubles with. So now in this minute, we could help him or and we could know more about it. Yeah, go ahead, Eric. You are saying 5.2, correct? Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm trying to do now the uh, number two in 5.2. Okay, everybody, so says, uh, take a look at my screen. This is the one Eric is talking about. Young people to get married before age 15. There is the word permit. I thought it was the answer for me. It looked like it must be, it must not be permitted. Mm -hmm. to get married before age uh, 15. And it's telling you that it's not correct. Yes, maybe it maybe is some space. Uh -huh. And remember, you should Let not see. period, not even capital letter. Yeah, yeah, yes. So I, I, I wrote in the double T, I had me uh, the double T that I had missed. Mustn't. Let me try it again with the double T. Mm -hmm. I think that's the right you one. You were quite right. The double T is, nah. was the mistake. The problem. Uh -huh. So I have another one, the number six. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the number six. This. Okay. Number six. Yep. Lost. Must not. What? You put um, must not. Must, the, must not be permitted. Okay, not the contraction. You put the, the complete, right? Mm -hmm. the yeah, yeah, the complete. Uh, okay. The contraction. Okay. Must no. not be permitted. Oh. And number six, laws to ban the sale of handguns. Did you, you did it, Marcella? Care. Must not be. Uh, let me see. Must not be passed. Um, yeah, I, I have it right now. Okay. okay. But in this case, I was I was thinking the same and, and thinking on, on right must not be passed. But if we read it again, they are talking about the, the laws must be gone, must be must must be passed to ban the sale yes. of handguns. Must be. Is, must be, must be passed. Mm -hmm. Because With what we numbers. are saying is, is that the laws should go in order to, to get the, to stop the, the sale of the handguns, handguns. Stop, mm -hmm. them. Uh -huh. stop or ban them. Yeah. Laws must be passed to ban the sales of handguns. Double okay, S let's take a look at this. Yes, okay. Yep, something's wrong with me. There you go, there you pass, go. Pass. Joke, you say, oh, it's on the space. It's on must, the space. Must be. Uh -huh. uh, must be yeah. Uh -huh. Yes, you were quite right. I have a double space right here. Uh -huh. So, okay. Isabel, you have been one a wonderful and amazing gift. <laughs> you uh, see? I'll give it to you on, on the weekend. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much. Okay. <laughs> See, remember me on Saturday and Sunday and do and do the exam. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Okay. <laughs> All right, guys. Have a great weekend. Remember, work on the platform and I see you on Monday. Okay. Bye. See you guys. Bye. Take care. All right. Bye-bye. Have a nice weekend. Bye. Bye.